Welcome to Kevin's Wild Wacky Weird World. Today I'm going to be reviewing the TYT MD UV 390 dual band DMR with GPS. If that's not enough acronyms for you, I don't know. Oh, I could add more. <laughs> it's a handheld dual band digital mobile radio. Uh, the cost when I purchased it from Amazon was $119.99, brand new. Uh, it's IP67 rated, which means it's resistant to dust and up to 30 minutes submerged in a meter of water. And while living in Oregon, a land of rain, more rain, and even more rain, uh, that was a major selling point for me. The build quality seems sturdy. I would say it's slightly better than my DM1701. Uh, the battery click-clack mechanism is my only complaint. It could be a little sturdier, but it should be adequate and seems watertight. As with most radios these days, I ignored the manual that came with it. It was outdated the second I updated the firmware. Um, the radio was easy to set up. I use Linux and Edit CP, which Edit CP, there's a link down below. It's uh, basically a chirp for DMR radios and Linux. It, I believe there's a Windows version of it as well. Uh, Edit CP conveniently works for all three of my digital mobile radios, the MD380, UHF, my DM1701, and now the UV390. Um, the UV3, uh, the MD UV390 can be set up from the keypad with some practice, uh, making it a better field radio than my others, although the 380 after installing tools is uh, on par. Um, it's neat that you can set up more than one ID on the 390. There's, it's definitely developed more for the ham radio enthusiasts than the other radios. Uh, form factor almost identical to 380. Green in the middle, speaker on top, keypad on bottom. It is a slightly bit bigger, but not by much. And then again, it is slightly smaller than the 1701. Um, the battery charger that uses a 12.5 volt adapter and slightly different base than the, my MD380. Uh, the stock battery has not let me down even on two day long adventures. I do wish the battery charged faster. It definitely comes with a trickle, and I mean trickle charger. Uh, the internal speaker sound quality is decent to these old ears. The volume works as expected. Uh, I had good reports for audio transmitted and uh, in both analog and uh, digital modes. Uh, when listening to myself, it sounds like me. The wattage on my old Microchrono powder meter that's not calibrated showed 4.5 on UHF and 4.7 on VHF, well within advertised numbers. Um, I did test the distance I could send and receive text messages and digital voice. It was near identical to the 1701 and 380. Um, scan speed seems adequate. I could not tell a difference between it, the MD380, and the DM1701. I tried finding out what processor chip they all used and could not find any data really online. Would I be terribly surprised if all three of the TMR radios I own used the same CPU? No. The screens seem almost identical, etc. Um, on to GPS. Frankly, now the GPS is not that useful. It does work, but I wish it had an analog APRS because the repeaters in the Salem area just don't support digital APRS. Um, there's no easy way to just text the GPS data to the radio either. Um, the radio's neat where it comes with, you can load it with two different major firmware types that uh, are from the manufacturer. The one that allows you to record audio and then the other one that allows you to have up to 100,000 contacts um, allowing you to download the DP, uh, DMR database yeah, <laughs> to show call or call sign and uh, city information. When updating or changing the firmware make sure to follow instructions to a T. A goofed firmware can mean a destroyed, use, a destroyed radio of course use at your own risk. I found the firmware at uh, Radio Oddity. Link is down below. I did load up the extended contact firmware because I wanted to see the call signs and whatnot. Um, once that firmware was loaded, I can actually use Edit CP to, to load the contact database automatically. Um, kind of that way. Overall, I like this radio. It has the main features I need waterproof, 
dual band and a digital model pool radio. It's fairly easy to set up and I'm not regretting my purchase. Have a great day from Kevin's Wild Wacky Weird World.